All right, so today we're going to be talking about setting up a parallax background for our game. Uh, to do that, first we need some game art. So if you go to Google Chrome or whatever you use for an internet uh, exploring solution, you can go ahead and go to Open Game Art. Now you want to look for your parallax. Because that's what we're looking for. And then I personally wanted to use some kind of a spacey thing. We're going to want one that kind of like tells us how uh, how big it is. So let's try the starry one. Because it's a pain to figure out how big something is when they don't just tell you. Here you go, 2560 by 2560. So we we'll go ahead and download this. Now it says inside of here that they look blank, but they're not. You need a back black background yourself. Okay, so we're going to be setting the game up to have a black background itself. So drag over your new stars into the art. Then to make the background black, just go to Project Settings. You want to go down to where it says Rendering. You want to go down to Environment and set Rendering. And then you click on this default clear color. You just set it to black. Or as close to black as you want to get. Maybe just like a little bit less than black. So it's not just like completely destroying your eyes. We might want to go to these simple things. And just kind of turn off their sprites. The reason why is because they will go over the stars if they are on. And they'll naturally just block our path as is now. Now, in order to get us a nice parallax background set here, all we have to do is add a child node. We want to look up parallax. And you'll see something come in here, parallax layer and parallax background. Parallax background is the parent. You just simply name it background. And then we can add a child node to that parallax layer. And every parallax layer needs a sprite added to it. And each one of these sprites will then control our uh, background. So we can go ahead and drag this texture into there. And then you want to go to your parallax background on here and set it to the size inside the motion here in the mirroring. So that's 2560 by 2560. And that's why you want to know what that size is before you kind of go into this. You go into your background, you add another parallax layer, another sprite to that parallax layer. And then, of course, for this one, you want to have the second one on there, and that will give us another thing of uh, stars to look at. We can set this motion to 2560 by 2560 as well, the mirroring on there so that it will cover our entire board. And now it's important to know how a parallax background works, because right now if we hit play, and we just start driving around, you'll see the stars, they're not moving with us at all. They're just kind of sitting still, which is good in some ways, but it's also kind of bad. The reason why it's kind of bad is because there's no illusion of depth inside of here. So whatever you want to be further away, you want to move at a slower pace. So for instance, uh, let's say that the stars in the way background are but set to scale to like 0.9. Uh, let's make it so there's a big difference for you guys. So let's do 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is a huge difference there. So I'm only doing this on the further back stars, and you'll kind of see what I mean. Now you see a lot of them are just moving right along with me as if they're very close, and then the way back ones are moving like not at all, right? And that kind of creates an illusion of depth. People are automatically like, okay, so these ones are kind of in front of the other ones. Now we don't need to do it exactly like that. Let's try point 0.9 to kind of give it that uh, a somewhat of an illusion. And that looks pretty good to me. That way the stars are kind of moving through and we look like we're moving extremely fast. You can see the movement and there's still an illusion of depth in there. Looking pretty good. I did set the uh, new goal for the first level to 20 because I want that to be kind of like where we're at. And now we want this background to be inside of our other scene as well. So let's go ahead and save this branch as a scene. We'll call it background. That's fine. We'll save it in our scenes. We'll save it there. And we'll go to level two and then we'll go into something. We're going to instance a child scene. And we're going to simply make the background the scene in here as well. Giving us the stars inside of both scenes just like that. And now for the second level we want to have something like 25 be the goal. So that way we can have it be extremely difficult. <laughs> and so the first goal has 20. That's good. Okay, so we've got the starry background. We can win the game. Inside the next video, we will actually make the ending to the game at this point. And once we create the ending, 
I think that we're pretty good to go, guys. Uh, we've done a pretty good job, and that's it for this series. So one more video, guys, to the end. I'll see you there. Please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much. Have a great day.